monetary and fiscal stimulus unleashed on markets. Now what? Chancellor Rishi Sunak's dramatic loosening of the UK's purse strings is likely to find favour with voters, who suddenly find themselves with a little more cash in their pockets. At the same time, high street banks were already cutting mortgage rates in response to the Bank of England's half-point cut. But how is this new ultra-loose environment likely to be felt in financial markets? In the short term, not much. Global financial markets continued to slide. m and Investment Director, Equities, Ritu Vohora, Pictured, says that while investors are scared and consumers are scared, it may be too much to expect for markets to recover their poise, even with central banks and governments willing to write checks to support the economy. When you look at the different indices, it is very clear this is panic, she says. We've seen an indiscriminate sell-off across all regions. When normality returns to stock markets however, what about life beyond the coronavirus? It is noteworthy that the Chinese market has been relatively stable in recent weeks as life has returned to some normality in the country. The Shanghai Composite saw dramatic falls in January, but has since recovered its equilibrium and is now sitting at pre-December levels. When normality returns to stock markets, there will be winners and losers from an environment where even looser monetary policy and fiscal stimulus are the norm. Vohora says the group's fund managers are using the dip to top up on certain areas that not only look cheap, but may benefit from this new economic climate. Emerging markets look much more attractive relative to developed markets, she says. We see better valuations, plus a more dovish Fed and a weaker dollar. If China contains the virus, that is also good for emerging markets. She also suggests dividend stocks could stage a resurgence, given a world of low bond yields and interest rates. There are now more companies with high dividends yields backed by reliable cash flow. The UK is also worthy of a second look. M&G research shows that it is now at 45-year valuation lows and trading at 40% discount to the global index. However, Dan Whitestone, manager of the BlackRock Throgmorton Trust, says that investors need to be selective and there are risks in some larger companies. We see many larger companies that are hostage to paying dividends they can't afford. They are starving the business of investment rather than cutting the dividend. We expect to see more high-profile dividend cuts this year. He says any company with a lot of debt is also in trouble, but he believes certain smaller companies and niche areas should be well supported by the fiscal measures. A recipe for inflation? Looking longer term, there is another consideration. Should the virus outbreak prove temporary, as the experience in China and South Kvormore on this story, visit the news article link.